Stephen Brown here in Southwest Florida and I'm going to talk to you today about two fabulous tropical plants. One is the bird of paradise and the other is the traveler's tree. Now they're both great exotic and this is what you want in your garden if you were to go tropical. So let's get started. In form both of these look alike. Closely slow but here's the difference. What do you think we're looking at right here? This is in fact the traveler's palm and some people like to call these also the traveler's tree. What a beautiful sight. In fact the traveler's palm is not a palm. It's really closely related to the banana plant. Can't you tell the difference? Here is something beautiful about the traveler's palm. What it has here is this unique, look at this, formation, the gathering together of all the leaves. This is the fan of the traveler's palm. Look at that, nothing is more beautiful in nature than this. Perhaps not, but it's close. Both the white bird of paradise and the traveler's palms, they're clumping plants. In other words, they grow in mass, producing closely held sucker to the metal plant. And take a look at this right here. In order to keep it and to get this unique appearance with distinctive trunks, look at these beautiful trunks here. This is the traveler's palm. You have to make sure you remove these suckers and suckers are gonna be coming up all over the place. And occasionally get rid of, look at this here, get rid of these massive trunks that the traveler's palm will produce. Now, here's something that you need to know. The difference between the traveler's palm and the white birds of paradise, here's another simple example. The white bird, it will not produce these massive trunks. This is a feature only of the traveler's palm. So here we go. Look at these beautiful trunks. We got three on this particular one because they've cut out all of these suckers that are trying to make it. And follow the trunks, follow the trunks. And way up top, you can see those beautiful fans. They're at a, they just basically on a flat plane. That, of course, has got to be your traveler's palm. This is a great example of how you can use traveler's palm. In this case, the traveler's palm, four clumps, one, two, three, four, are being used as a screen or a border between your property and your neighbor's property. Now, you really can hope for a better display, a better tropical look for your garden, and this is a real excellent way to do it. Take a look at the flowers here. The inflorescence are kind of spread along the flat plane of the fan where the leaves come together. And in full bloom, these are not in bloom at all, but a couple of months back when they were in full bloom, this was a spectacular sight. In contrast, this is the white bird of paradise. You can see it's considerably shorter than the traveler's palm. The white bird is also a clumper. You can see the many trunks being formed right here. The trunks actually are not as large as those of the traveler's palm, but they do have their character. And I'm gonna advise you to clean them out so that you can see what's going on at the ground level. And it makes a better display when it's cleaned out, in my opinion. Let's take a look at the fan of the white bird of paradise. Ah, if we clean this up a little bit, get rid of these leaves, get rid of the dead inflorescence. This one is on the other side. Ah, stay back there. Okay, here we go. See this fan? It's certainly not as large as the one with the traveler's palm. But nevertheless, it does have its own charm and character. And there's the proof. It is the white bird of paradise. Here is a fine example of the inflorescence. And 
they are stacked one on top of the each other. You can see where they emerge. They emerge from in between the leaves. There's another one right here. And stack higher. There is another one right there. And you can keep climbing this white bird. There we go. How many bird heads do we have here? One, two, there you go, three, four. And now you know why they call it the white bird of paradise. Take a look at this. This is a great display and a great use of the white bird of paradise. And closer down, you can see that the base is hidden by bromeliads as well as Indian hawthorn. So that's one way to use it. And here's another way to use the white bird of paradise. In this location, we have a couple of white birds of paradise on either side of me. Now, this is an absolutely fabulous display and these white birds of paradise are just as tall and just as elegant as any traveler's palm that you will ever see. We already know that the traveler's palm leaf is much bigger than the leaf of the white bird of paradise. The question now is, just how much bigger is the leaf of the traveler's palm here it is, that's it, compared to the leaf of the white bird of paradise. I'm six feet tall, traveler's palm, white birds of paradise, and you can obviously see the difference. So here's the story concerning the inflorescence. This here almost looks like something from outer space. Look at this flat plane here. And in between these heavy material, we have fruits that are developing. You can see them in this row right here. And the newer ones are on top. Now the inflorescence is actually spent. That is why we have the fruits development along here. The comparison is your white bird of paradise white bird of paradise and you can see the beak of the bird the beak of the bird along here this is his head dips down to drink and instead of being flat dimensionally these birds are orientated in a circle and i can remove that and look at that see that that's artistic Hopefully you've learned the differences between the traveler and the white bird of paradise. So it's all over for now. Stephen Brown, Southwest Florida, Lee County Extension Service. And of course, there is always something new to learn in the Florida landscape. And that's why we're here today. County Extension is a partnership between the USDA, the University of Florida IFAS, and Lee County Government.